So this video covers how to create a civil 3D point style. So the first thing that I like to do is create a list of what I want the point information to include. So for this example, I want to include point number, grid north, grid east, lat long, and elevation. Now it's important to do this step because if you want to drag your label and you want it to have stack text, whatever order that you create the point segments in will be the order that is created. So if you do this out of order, then when you drag your point label, they'll be out of order. So I'm just going to keep that over there. So I'm going to go go to tool space and then grab my uh, settings tab and go to point. So I have my point styles. I'm just going to grab one of my existing ones uh, for label styles. And so I'm going to grab elevation only and start with that one. Actually, point number only. So I'll go right click and I'll do copy. So then I want to give it a name that makes sense. So I'm going to call this point number grid. that long dash elevation. And then I'm going to go to the Layout tab and create it. So I have point number first. That, that was the first item I need to create. And now I, I want to add a segment for grid north. Um, I could do this in two ways. I can have a single option for the text component editor where I could just come in and select my grid northing and press Add. And I can have it all in one label. Or if I think later on I'm going to be able to modify this current label uh, into different types, I may want to do it in one, um, in multiple components. So I'm going to do this one in multiple components. So I'm going to add another text. This is going to be my grid north text. And I always like giving it a name. That way it's easier to track later on. This one I'm going to tag to the point number. And I'm going to stack everything below it. So this is going to be the bottom left corner. And then my attachment point, that's going to be where this label text is. I need it to be the top left. And now it's going to be in line with the one. So label text really isn't what I want. So I'll go in here and change this to grid north. And I want to change that to two. And then I'll hit the formerly blue button and now I have my grid northing. And then I can go ahead and copy the component. And so this is going to be grid east. And I want to tie that to grid north text. And then I want to do the same thing. So this is going to be my lat text. I want to tie that to my grid easting text. And this is going to be latitude. And then here I can choose the format for it. So I'm going to use uh, degrees, minutes, seconds spaced. And I'm going to go to 0 0.01. Actually, I'm going to go to the nearest second. And then press Add. So that's my latitude. I'll copy this one. It's going to be longitude. I'm going to tie that to my latitude text. And I'm going to change that to my long. And then I've got one more for my elevation. So this is going to be tied to my longitudinal. This is going to be my elevation. Give it a new name. And then I can see that it's not uh, being placed there. 
So I can't see the other components because those components are dependent on the coordinate system. And if something doesn't show up or have a value, then Civil 3D almost automatically gets rid of it. So if I hit OK, I now have my point number grid, latitude, and longitude elevation. So I'm going to try it out by creating a point. And then I'm going to go into AutoCAD properties and change my style to test it out. And so now I've got uh, three values here, but I can see that it's not showing up for the grid values. And that's probably because I don't have a coordinate system set up. And so I can come in to edit AutoCAD drawing settings go to the units and zone tab and I can pick a coordinate system. And so I'm just going to pick one that I know. Then once I do that, then those coordinate values will show up. And now if I drag it, they're going to stay um, in the same order. If I had them in a different order, then they would be all jumbled up. And so that's how I can create a point label style with grid northern, grid easting, lat long, and elevation, and point number.